Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, I am participating in a collab hosted by the one and only Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. I'm so excited about this collaboration. I actually have some company coming from out of town next weekend and I was wondering what I needed to do to prepare my house. And this collab answered that question for me. I got a spring clean. I got to, to get the house where I want it, refresh some areas, and why not do it with you guys watching? So thank you so much, Kimberly Davis, for putting this out into the atmosphere. Now, just to tell you about the collab, it is called the Spring Clean With Me series. There'll be several rooms. Uh, we're going to be spring cleaning several rooms in this series. But today, March 3rd, is the entryway and foyer. Now, there are simple rules to this collaboration. It, the video just had to be 15 minutes or less, and we want to show what we did to spring clean that area and also if we want to decorate as well, which is what I'll be doing. Now, when you finish watching this video, make sure that you go over to Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. The link is in the description box and also the link to the playlist is in the description box. Subscribe to her channel, watch all the videos in the playlist. I'm sure you'll see a lot of great ideas and make sure you support and subscribe to those ladies or those participants as well. Well, let's get into it, you guys. Let the spring cleaning commence. Hey family, I'm so excited about this spring cleaning collaboration. As you can see from my entryway, it is a hot mess, okay? So the first step, as always, is to start with a clean slate. Let's go ahead and get rid of everything over here and then we'll know what we have to work with. everything's out of the way I want to be mindful to wipe everything down I'm using Fabuloso I love it the scent as well as the way it cleans so once I wipe down I'll go ahead and vacuum up this area the biggest part of spring cleaning for me is um, I'm gonna shampoo the carpet um, y'all know I've been trying to stay on top of this red dirt so let's get that clean and then we'll know what to do from there I've used this carpet cleaner several times and I really like it. Sometimes when you're cleaning the rug, you can't really tell what it's doing. Like right here, you can see the red dirt, especially along the edge of that carpet. Um, I could kind of see the difference while I was doing it, but it's not gonna be until the next day when you really notice um, just how well it cleaned the carpet. So it's exactly 24 hours later and I'm ready to start decorating, but I realized that I didn't clean uh, above the furniture. The, none of the decor was clean. So I go back over it with my duster um, and make sure that I get all the dust off of the decor that's on the walls. Um, want to make sure that I do that. I could actually see dust in the little grooves of that piece that I'm dusting right now and that's what reminded me that I didn't dust. So once I finish dusting then of course I have to wipe down again but it's no problem. I want to make sure that that area is really clean and ready for my guests when they arrive. Now it's time to lay the carpet down. I know this rug sucks you guys but I've got to have something for some people to put their wipe their feet off and take their shoes off before they enter into the house. And once you see the rug 
that's going down in front of it, you'll understand why I just want to make sure that shoes can come off before they touch that bag. I wanted to briefly show you what I did right there to protect that little piece of carpet. I put one of those plastic runners back down and now I'm going to open and uh, the new rug. You'll know this rug when you see it. I actually have it in my living room. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I got it from Wayfair. Um, both uh, area rugs came from Wayfair. The first one is an 8x10. This one is a 5x7. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I get so many compliments on this area rug that I absolutely have to get. My husband kept saying, what are we going to do about this area? And I suggested getting a rug and he said, well, you should get one like the one you already have. He loves it too. I just think it's beautiful. This is the one in the living room. And before you say anything, I'm spring cleaning the whole house, you guys. So never mind the living room. You'll see that in the in another video. Now here is what I did with um, the end table there. I don't show a lot of it because you'll see at the end of this video that I'm actually going to change that area. So let's go ahead and decorate um, our entry table. It's been the same way for so long, the way you saw it in the first um, few shots, that I know it's time to do something different and I wanna bring out the blue in the area rug. So I'm gonna try these bases that I've been hiding in the entry table for since August when we moved in here. I've never used them, but I'm just gonna kinda of play around with it and see if I can come up with something um, that I like. I played around with several flowers um, and I finally landed on the ones that I'm putting in now. Nothing else just quite fit with the direction of the rest of the house. And so this is what I came up with. I think it looks absolutely super cute like that. You know, I don't like a whole lot of hoopla. I like it plain. Once I'm done though, I know that I want to do something different here. I want a bench for my guests to sit so I pull out the um, end table and I go get this faux leather bench that I had in the guest bedroom I'm gonna put down um, one of those plastic runners I actually have to fold it in half because it's so long and I'll sit the bench on top of it and we'll see how that looks I wanted to give you the full experience and that required me going outside and coming in and letting you see what my guests see when they walk in and I just absolutely love it. It's simple, it's pretty, it's farmhousey, it's me. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The only thing that I need to do now is rearrange the decor so that it looks like the a decoration in behind the glass but I absolutely love it so let me walk you through 
and tell you where I got everything. This beautiful, these beautiful blue vases came as a gift with the house. Those two wooden candlesticks, they came from Big Lots. I don't remember about the gold candle holders. I've had them forever. Those pink flowers and the mauve flowers both came from Michaels. I got that beautiful blue lantern from Ross. The picks inside of it came from Dollar General. Can't remember where I got the candle. The hello sign came from Big Lots. And this beautiful entry table, as well as the decor that's on the wall, all was a gift that came with the house. As I've stated before, this area rug, this beautiful, beautiful rug came from Wayfair. So many people have asked about it, so I hope that you go online and order it. The faux leather bench came from Amazon. I've had it for years. I'm actually gonna take a picture in the daytime so you can get a good look at this area. The top of this bench opens and then there is um, a pedestal underneath for shoes. Now all the rest of the decor in this area was a gift with the house, the blanket, the standing base, and the pictures. So anyway, this is the area, you guys. I absolutely love it. I think it came out really good. I'm most excited about being able to shampoo this area again and get it nice and clean. I don't have to worry about this area and we can use the back door. All right, it's the next day and this is what our entryway is looking like. Oh, it looks amazing, you guys. It's so clean, it smells fresh, it looks good, it's pleasing to the eye. I absolutely love the rug. I love the bench here. I don't know if I'll leave that blanket there. But I did put a basket with some blankets um, in that little nook so that if guests are cold, they can grab a blanket to snuggle up with. What do you think about this bench, you guys? I got to dust it, so excuse that. But I wanted you to see just where um, I have a space for people to take their shoes off and just see how this looks in the bright light. I know it's kind of dark here. I'm going to look for a lamp to put on this table but in the meantime i just absolutely love the look of this entry table so thank you so much for watching thank you diva designing on a dime for hosting this wonderful collab